Hello and welcome to the final tutorial. I believe that a congratulations is in order. If you have faithfully worked through each of the steps, you have acquired fundamental skills in thinking, like most of our computer systems do today in terms of relational databases. This is a tutorial video to walk you through the final project, which you can access at the bottom of our tutorial where it says mini project. I have taken care to document each of the steps that I think you'll uh, want to go through to develop some query skills. So we saw queries in the previous step, step five, and our job in the mini project is to keep the same database and build queries to systematically remove a couple of different sets of information. This, by the way, is probably the most common task that you'll be asked to do when using a relational database in the workplace because it'll probably already exist and it'll probably have some data in it and your job will be to ask it a question about that data and get a result back. So I gave you that overview in the green box. The mini steps make sure that you have entered some of your own data. I gave you links to our base handbook as well as the official documentation. These two links are vital as you work through this mini project. I also gave you a reference for the filter conditions that you can use. So if I click this, it will bring up a screenshot of the online documentation. What you're seeing here is a table that shows you the different operators you can use in designing a query. So for example, in the previous step, we built this query, album selected before 1990, and I can go to edit. And here we are in our query. So remember how we asked the database to produce a listing that looked just like this. I just ran the query. We wanted to see the album name, rating, release year, artist name, and artist birth year for any album that was published before 1990. So this is what we're building. We are working on the criterion row. This is the job of your query, uh, is to build in the criteria using the operators found in this table to get the information listed here, queries one through six, out of the database. And I will go through query number one. So we're going to do one together. And that says, I want any albums whose average rating is four or higher. All right. So the steps I'm going to go through are to say, hmm, I need a new query. So let's back out here. I'm going to close this query. We are going to be using create query in design view. So we want this task, create query in design view. I'm going to get a window that asks us to add some tables to our query. And we want to add both of them. So I'm going to select add that and add that. OK, so that's done. So now we have our query design wizard. And I'm set up to think about how do I get data out of this query. So again, start with the basics. If we simply say, I want a listing of everything in the database, so I want the album's name, and I want the artist's name, and I want the release here, I've just built myself a query output that has three columns, one, two, three, and there's no criteria. So it will give me all matching rows and their name of the album artist and the release year. I can use this alias row to specify what name will be displayed at the top of the column. So I like to say album year. It's nice and printed prettily. Uh, and this is the artist name. And I want release year. And when that's set up, I can zoom to the top. And this lovely button that has the down arrow says run query. So I can click that. Oop, look. 12 records. This is everything in the database. So I know I have a working query there. And query task 1 says, I just want an album whose rating is 4 or higher. Now I have not displayed the rating. So I need to grab the rating column from album. So I'm going to grab this rating column. Remember, our columns are listed in rows in this particular view. I'm going to grab the rating column. I'm going to add it to my query. I'll give it an alias uh, rating and I can even be nice. I can be nice and say 1 to 5 so people know how to interpret it. That's great. And then I need to think about the criterion. So this cell here is what I want to be working on. How do I get just a rating of 4 or higher? Well, 
we can look over here at our query helpers and we can see that our standard mathematics greater than or less than signs are up for grabs. So we can use those. If we come back over here, we can say criteria and click and say, well, that's easy. We want four or higher, so we can say greater than four. That looks pretty good. Remember, you can run this as many times as you want. It's not uncommon to run a query 20 times to get it right. So now I ran that. Oh, look. I see, I can check my work and say, if this filter is working, I should see no albums whose rating is less than four. My results meet that criteria. And so I'm ready to move that over into my spreadsheet. So I'm going to collapse that. The submission instructions say, create a new spreadsheet. Your job is to copy the results of each query into its own tab in the spreadsheet. Rename the tab so their name tells the user what the query is returning. You'll submit both your spreadsheet and database file to the cloud drive. I gave you a little screenshot of what the tabs could look like, and let's remember how this goes. So I have my spreadsheet here. Notice my tabs. So I can complete my query one. I've got a blank spreadsheet. I'm going to click the upper left-hand box to select the entire results from our query. I'm going to click and drag drink, into the spreadsheet. And now when I bring that up I can see that I now have the data from the query in a manipulatable form and I accidentally pasted it into the wrong spot. I can undo that. I can do a control Z and do a redrag into cell A1. I can select all of these columns. I can double click in between them. It will automatically expand. And then as a good spreadsheet user, I might want to format my header row, so I can select that, go to format, cells, this is LibreOffice Calc, by the way, and give it a background, free and open source, font effects, I want a white font, there we go, so now, I can even make it bold, and this has given, ooh, look, oops, this is query, not query 3, so I can copy, I'm going to cut it with control X, I'm going to click back over to query one, and I can paste that in, and I'll need to adjust my column width, double click in between them, and now I'm ready to move on to query number two. So have a good time. Remember, please reach out to me, your instructor, if you're having any issues. This is tricky stuff, so devote some time to it. Use your documentation, but also don't be frustrated. Don't hit your head against the desk. Call me first. Thank you, and have a blast.